Hi there, I'm going to do a quick review of my Gold Tone Plucky Banjo which I picked up a couple of weeks ago on eBay second hand but in very good condition. When I first started playing the banjo seriously in 2009 I had my eye on one of these but I was warned off by uh, Andy Perkins otherwise known as Andy Banjo here in the UK. He said they're, they're very small, they're not that great and so I ended up buying a Rally Banjo from him which is a C banjo tuned to C but with a bigger pot than this. I've always fancied one of these so when one came up on eBay at the right price I kind of jumped at it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about its specifications and I'll play you a quick tune. So there it is, it's very small. If I compare it to my Deering a full size banjo you'll see the difference. There's the Deering and there is the Plucky. You can see it's very much smaller isn't it? I believe this is one of the smallest five string banjos you can buy and I'll tell you the exact measurements of it now. It's 68 centimetres long from the, the very back to the end of the head and that is 26 and a half inches if you uh, prefer that kind of measurement. The width of the pot is 8.5 inches or 22 centimetres. The height of this pot, tiny little pot, is only 6.3 centimetres or 2.3 inches. The scale length, that's the distance between the nut and where the strings run over the bridge, uh, that is 41.5 centimetres or if you like 16 and a quarter inches. So it's tiny, it's a really small banjo. So why would I want a banjo like this when I've already got a really high quality uh, banjo made by Deering, Deering Vega Senator? I find that playing for prolonged amounts of time on my other banjo my left arm really hurts i've tried holding the banjo right at the back so that my arm's not too extended but it still hurts we were heading out in the car the other day and jenny was driving and i was just playing this on the front seat on the passenger seat and really enjoying it and it was really comfortable and it was uh, fitting nicely so it's comfortable to play you're not extending your left arm for your right-handed player it sits on your right leg and it's just it's just nice it only weighs three pounds i'm not quite sure how much that is in kilograms but three pounds that is pretty light let's have a look over it shall we so there's the headstock with the plucky emblem and the gt for gold tone you've got a little bar that the strings pass under it's the cheaper guitar tuners you can see there okay let's turn it around but they work fine there's nothing wrong with those talking of tuners the fifth string tuning peg has been replaced by a, a high quality one uh, I think the one that comes as standard is not as good as this, so this is a, an upgrade. So you've got maple fingerboard, looks like, and the, the frets are really nice. I don't know how old this is. Okay, and there's the there's the pot and the bridge. I'm just going to turn it over and take something out of the back. There, I'll show you that in a moment. So here's the back, the rod there. It's very nicely done. Nice heel cap there and down there's a small volute there I think on the head with the neck it comes in a, a pretty flimsy black gig bag which I won't show you because there's nothing to write home about but it's okay I suppose it keeps the dust off so when I received this banjo through the post a couple of weeks ago I got it out of the case and straight off I wasn't very happy with the sound it had all those nasty unpleasant overtones you often get with banjos and so I used uh, a very technical remedy commonly known as a duster all you do is you turn it over and just stuff a duster underneath there like that and that kills all that horrible sound that you get those nasty overtones now this isn't a quality sounding banjo but it's great for noodling about it's quite it's quite a pleasant sound and this is quite unusual this one and what attracted me to buying this was the guy tuned it to G and normally these things because of the scale length are tuned to C okay with thinner strings so I've got my rally banjo tuned up to C so I don't need another C banjo and it is nice to play in the key of G but on a, a short scale banjo like this so I think what we have on here is a fairly heavy set maybe an E set tuned up to G and they're fine on this short scale they'll, they'll take it Gold tone banjos are really nicely made. I used to have one years ago. If you look through my banjo videos, you'll very quickly come across it. Um, I sold it because I didn't really need two quality full size uh, G banjos. But I kind of regret it because it was a really nice instrument. But this one, the Plucky, 
it's great for noodling about it's great for comfort uh, great as a travel banjo if you're going camping you could sort of sling it over your back it's so lightweight so yeah a comfortable little thing if you look here you can see it it kind of looks laminated doesn't it absolutely no complaints about the quality whatsoever so that is the gold tone plug if you're contemplating buying one now these new in the uk are around about 300 pounds which is pretty crazy for this kind of instrument um, I certainly wasn't going to pay anywhere near that and so I waited for a second hand one to come up and uh, when it did I pounced on it and I was very pleased with it. Just by way of comparison here is my rally banjo and you can see that the pot is a lot bigger and the scale length is definitely longer than this and this is a nice banjo this rally that I bought from Andy Banjo back in I don't know, probably about 2009 2010 it's been a good friend to me I've used it on lots of uh, uh, videos and it's really nice to play but it is uh, as I say tuned up to C now I'm saying it's tuned to G I've actually tuned it to G sawmill so I've tuned the second string up to C I'm gonna play a tune called cluck old hen which is uh, a classic sawmill frailing banjo piece I'm just going to play it through quickly for you this is one of these instruments that you'll tune it with a tuner and it won't work you have to tune it by ear It's a very quiet banjo it's brilliant for late night noodling or if you're in front of the TV want to watch a program and uh, you want to do a bit of practicing at the same time it's lovely my dog goes a bit nuts when I play my uh, full-size deering banjo but this one doesn't seem to trouble her at all it is very quiet and of course with the duster in the back that really quietens it down even more but I don't like the sound of it without that anyway so it's not a banjo you buy for the tone or particularly for recording it's just for comfort and for travel and it's a nice little banjo uh, for those uses.